leave if I didn't do that. You hit like fucking new game. Not even quick start, but new game. Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, when I was dead, but when I think of the Genesis, what days of the first day. So this is what happened to the girl with that fucking girl, baby. Yeah. If I don't see a Patriarchy, everybody. 
Patriarchy? Yeah. Let it be known, on this day, Chris took the fucking stand in the good fight. February 15th, 2017 at 10.24pm. That's, right. That's right. Christina Forever. Elizabeth Anderson beat the shit out of the patriarchy. Forever immortalized in the blood of the patriarchy. <laughs> the also, blood uh, staining the stones of, of femininity. It's only 12.25 uh, in the clock tower. Uh, okay. What does that have to do with anything? I'm just saying. Okay. okay. <laughs> How fucking creepy would that be, though, if it was actually 1225 right now? Right? <gasps> well, it's 1025. They might be, like, Arizona time. Sucks butts. You can eat a big bowl of butts. So, but here's the thing. On an analytical level, right? Uh, what, do you, what do you think? Gameplay, gameplay was once I got four hours later. I got, I got a handle on the controls, but okay. they could have been a little more better. Uh, a little more better. A little more gooder. And <laughs> Derek Zoolander's. Uh, oh, music what was is great. it? Music was great. Music was excellent. I liked the score quite a bit. I like the graphics. Really? I like the yeah. I like the style. I, I like the color. Even for the yeah, I like the style. The the color paletting is great. Yeah, it looks good. It sounds good. Plays the, all right. For the time period. Um, I don't think the graphics were that good though. That's all I'm I saying. Really Ninety five. It wasn't that good. I wish it was better. Like I wish you could travel better in the game, or at yeah. least like have a map. There was a map. In fairness, you just didn't find it. What? Mm -hmm. Anyway, I thought it was a pretty good game. I would give it like a 7 out of 10. Yeah, the problem is we fucking suck. Yeah, that's my problem. Well, I mean, I was going to say technically I didn't play it, but that's not that's aside from the point. Yeah, I don't play a lot of video games. There is some cool shit to it. It's just we really did not do so hot with no. playing it. I thought... Um, so here's the other thing, too. Here's... You know they can't see that, right? Yeah, I know. She's making it say cock. <laughs> Again. So, yeah, I mean, here's my two cents. I, I looked up, and, you know, we, we both did. Because there was times where we were just like, what the fuck are we supposed to do? So It was so obfuscated, the, the normal path. Um... Uh, that we, you know, had to look shit up. So it was interesting to find that there are multiple scenarios, multiple people you can even be, if I'm not yeah, mistaken. Yeah, that was pretty dope. Um, multiple endings and things that can happen. And, you know, the, the whole cabin in the wood things, like you found this item, so now you have to take this path and you can't take this path. And this person can die or can't die or stuff. It's actually very, very cool, very intuitive, I think, of an idea <clears throat> for that era of video games, no less. Um, it just, uh, I mean, I think it's, it's, it, on a modern level, I think it has its issues. Back for the time, I'm sure it was fucking e excellent. Yeah, but 22 years ago, it was great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, 22 years ago, I'm sure if we were playing it then, we'd be like, holy shit, this is like yeah. revolutionary. And it would offer hours of entertainment, not frustration. So, but, so... Now, a segue, Chris had mentioned that she and I are going to be doing uh, a series. Let's let's go ahead and talk. Let's go, let's go ahead and, and pop the cherry on that one if we could. Uh, we're going to be doing a series where we play in review. Classic video games. Uh, yeah, classic video games. Uh, Retro or not. Yeah. Thing, and see how they've aged. Yes. Uh, so the idea is that 
either Chris or I, or in some cases, Chris and I, if it's multiple player, uh, only if we have never played the game will we be reviewing classic video games. So, for example, uh, I have never played the original Legend of Zelda game. I've played a few of the few of the later ones. Chris has played, like, all of the later ones. Um... Chris, I can't remember. Did you say you've played the original or I not? I've never played the original. Okay, so neither of us... kind of sinful. I have a Triforce tattoo. Yeah. Neither of us have played the very original Legend of Zelda game. So by that token, both of us would be eligible to do it. Um, because the, the original is totally a classic. Um, so in this case, we would realistically punch each other in the mouth until one submitted... Uh, and that person would, would get to play it because it's a single-player game. In a case of a game uh, like, let's say... It's going to be me because I'm pretty punchy and I'm good at punching. It's a good point. Mm -hmm. uh, in the case of, let's say, a game like uh, Super Mario World 3 or something like that where there actually are multiple-player options, really, I guess, any of the Super Mario World games, um, multiple-player options, if neither of us have played the game, then we're still both eligible. We would actually play multiplayer uh, again, if one is played and the other has not, then the person who has not will be playing the game. The ultimate idea of the series is to review a game that is deemed classic on a general level, either you know classic or a cult classic, uh, without the nostalgia filter, so that we can review it more unbiasedly, because we haven't been directly affected by it. Yeah. That's the idea. Yeah, that's how I feel. Okay. Uh, and the series is called... Chris, what is the series called? When in Hindsight. When in Hindsight. Yeah. Very uh, excited. Yeah, I try and explain that schematic a lot because I've only ever seen two Disney movies. Of uh -huh. the original Disney movies. I've seen Pocahontas and The Lion King. So, Go figure. Uh-huh. So like Snow White, Cinderella, Aladdin. Are we talking like... Fish Girl. The Little Mermaid. <laughs> Fish Girl. I haven't seen it's any the same, of those. Same fucking thing, sure. Yeah. Have you seen any of, like, the OG fucking classics? So, like, so for one, Snow White is old as shit. Yeah. Sleeping Beauty is nope. old as shit. Nope. What about, like, The Fox and the Hound? Nope. Uh, Lady and the Tramp? Nope. Hmm. What's those the are one great with movies. the animals and it's a medieval with Robin Hood, but he's a fox? Robin Hood. I haven't seen that one. It's really good. Uh, I haven't seen any of those. But my thing is, when I say that to people... Especially people who are fucking crazy about Disney. They go, oh my god, you haven't seen Aladdin? Or you haven't seen Fish Girl? And then they try <laughs> You and keep play. saying Fish Girl. <laughs> it's like jumped. They try and play the songs for me. And they're like, these songs are amazing. Yeah, like, yeah, who fucking cares? Under the Sea. Or like, under the Sea. Everything's better, done when it's better, take it from me. So I know the songs because people keep shoving them in my face. Or like, yeah. Uh, a whole new world. Stuff like that. I don't give a fuck. And every time I watch the movies, I'm like, this is stupid and boring and I hate this. Yeah, no. People no, but see, in this... that tie because ex they're... It's exactly right. And that's that's exactly why we want to do this series. Is <clears throat> really, truly that we want to be able to review these games... Uh, an unbiased with an unbiased, well, at least d d d yeah. fairly. Because we, we, had, didn't, we didn't grow up on it. Yeah. And that's the thing is that we'll either really tear it down for what it is and be like, this is aged poorly, <laughs> or, and I'm hoping that it'll be more of this than anything, that well, we can that really we can really validate its classic status. Because if we play a game, we're like, no, this is aged really well. This is really fun, and I wish I had grown up on this. It just really shows how classic truly it is. Um, Clock Tower, I thought would be a phenomenal inauguration more or less, to the series um, <clears throat> because I knew it would be divisive. And it had a lot of things that really did not age well at all. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, my buddy was like, <clears throat> oh, yeah, I love that game. I played that all the time. And I'm like, oh, I don't fucking see why. Ex exactly. Angry texting in the middle of it. This game, fuck, what do I do with this? Yeah, and see, there's a, there's a lot of things that we were able to call on and say, no, this is really good. For the time, it was really good. And it's it's still aged well. But there are a lot of things that really fucking didn't. Like the controls. Mm -hmm. The controls, you might be able to say, well, back in 95. Well, fuck back in 95. It's not back in 95. It's 2017. 
in this day and age, if you were to go and pick up this game unbiased like we did, the controls suck dick. Oh my god, so many neckbeards would be rioting in the street. About what? Shitty controls? Yeah. Good. <laughs> that's the point, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. That's what when in hindsight will be a whole new intro and everything. It'll be Chris Chris staking her permanent stake in this channel and you guys better fucking like it. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm cool. That's right. And I'll tweet angry about it. <laughs> <laughs> make, sure to, make sure to leave racist, sexist, bigoted comments so she can just fucking put you on blast. Yeah. Yeah, because she's, she's a comedian. That's like literally what she fucking lives for is making fun of people. Yep. So feel free. <laughs> feel free. Trust me. You're, you're, you're only going to be hurting yourself. Um, but that's pretty much what we're doing with that. Um, yeah, I think this is a good first dip a toe in the water. Yeah, I agree. I this agree. This is the first. Now, this is a good just the tip. Here's the... Oh, my God. Here's the big expectation I'll say to be bore in mind with this. Let's let's go ahead and set the rules now. We'll discuss them too in the video, but it's it's all been at least loosely can you know said. Uh, obviously, I said you know the games have to be classic, and that's still true. But it does not have to be retro. With that, so like for example, Bioshock is a classic, oh, yeah. classic video game. I've played Bioshock. Chris, have you played Bioshock? I've played. I haven't played all the way through. I have played all the way through Bioshock Infinite. That does definitely does not count. No, but but the original. No, I haven't played all the way through the original. That one's that one's I would say iffy because you haven't you haven't beaten it. You know, it yeah. still seems kind of in that territory. And I played, but well, and I played it when it first came out, so I was like, what, like almost like eight. I would ago? I would give that a pass. Yeah. But Bioshock is definitely a classic game. I mean, in like every every just about everyone's eyes, even if you hate the game. You'd still respect it as a classic. Even though it was made for the Xbox 360, it's still a classic. And I'd say it's totally eligible to be in this in this series. Yeah. Um, I totally lost my fucking train of thought. Uh, but with that, uh, cult classic certainly as well. Uh, and we're, I, at least myself, I am very, very open uh, two suggestions. Uh, we already have a, a small list of games in the queue um, <clears throat> for this series. But uh, yeah, I think uh, I think ultimately that's really about it as opposed to as aside from figuring out who the fuck is going to be playing it. Oh, the other thing I was going to say. Um, so with the Danny V NCR channel, I tried to do almost exclusively horror, and it's going to stay that way, uh, probably. Most likely, it's going to stay almost exclusively horror. I'll probably do a little bit non-horror things here and there. That absolutely does not ring true for when in hindsight, and oh, I want yeah, that to be extremely. I want that to be extremely known now. Uh, as a matter of fact, the horror aspect, whether it's horror or not, should play literally non-factorially. Um, it, it just literally comes down to, is it a classic? Whether it's a horror game or not has nothing to do with whether we'll be choosing it for that. It will have to do whether I would choose it for the Danny VNCR thing or not. So if let's say, for example, I was going to play one of the original Resident Evil games or Silent Hill and Chris said, I don't want to play that shit. I would still play it on my channel, even Hell though yeah. it's a classic game. But also I would play those. Yes. I'm just saying, for example... Silent Hill is dope as fuck. I don't think that'll be a thing because I really love horror games. That's a good point. I'm fucking tired. I'm okay. rambling like a motherfucker. I'm sure Chris is, is getting pretty hangry. I'm fu yeah. So this is where I'm going to go ahead and draw the fucking line in the sand. Clock Tower had some good, had some bad. We had some fun. We had some a lot of fucking downs. It was mostly a downhill roller coaster where you have to climb up the hill coming back <laughs> out to Taco Bell. Um, fucking A. That's really about all I have to say f on that. So on that all note, say about that. don't forget to smash that motherfucking like button like Ethan Klein says. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, feel, free to, feel free to share it with your friends if you would uh, if you'd be so fucking kind. Danny are VNCR. We, are, are we doing heavy breathing exercises? Danny VNCR. Clock out. Tower. Fuck lockdown.